Good morning everyone, it will, well, it's very obvious that you're in the cupboard. Good morning everyone, it will, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing really well. I've had a wee break and I feel like I'm ready to come back and I actually asked on Instagram and this was the most popular request. So, I'm going to be doing a what my kids eat in a day and sharing with you everything that my children eat. Um, they are, if you don't know me, they are three, Oliver is three and Marcus is one. Um, and they both kind of eat the same thing. Marcus is a lot better at eating because he's so young. Oliver is at the fussy stage, but more or less they will eat the same things. So I'm going to share with you what they have. It's, as I said, half past six just now. I'm just about to make breakfast. Um, and I think I'm going to make them toast and banana and something else. I'm, I'll show you the plates that I got for them as well the other day because I absolutely love them. Let's get started and make some breakfast and I want some tea as well because listen to my voice. <laughs> So this is Oliver's breakfast, he's having toast and banana and he is having some strawberries, these are really good ones that we get off a little van that goes around the streets, it sells fish and fresh fruit and things like that. Um, so they're really really good strawberries and then he's getting some Cheerios as well because he loves to have a big big breakfast in the morning. Marcus will have the exact same except the Cheerios and that will usually be enough for him and he has a wee drink of milk as well. And then Oliver will have just a drink of juice but these are the plates that I was talking about. We absolutely love them and because they're divider ones I feel like it kind of encourages you to give them a bit of variety as well. So sometimes I'll make something and then there'll be a wee spare um, divider bit here and... I'll go and put something else in it, just like another little snack or something. Um, and it's really, really good. And it's good for fussy kids as well. So if we're having something that's got beans um, and Oliver doesn't want stuff to mix, then I can put them in like different bits for them. And yeah, they're really, really good. I'll link them below. I think they're only about six pounds if they're still in stock. Okay, so I have just given them both a banana because they're still hungry so they've had a bit of toast with banana, some strawberries, some Cheerios and another full banana. So a banana and a half each for breakfast. Hopefully that will keep them going for another couple of hours but they are just very hungry boys. Like the two of them eat a lot of food which you're going to see today. Yeah, I'm not going to stop them because if they're hungry they can have it. They're burning it off. Um, they're doing a lot of exercise and running about and stuff just now so um, yeah. Marcus is currently emptying out one of my pasta dishes so I better go and I will see you in a couple of hours. Hello, okay so it's lunch time and we have all been out for a big walk. We actually went separately. Andy took Oliver out and I took Marcus out um, and we are back in now and absolutely starving. So Marcus is actually still sleeping. I'm going to let him sleep a little bit longer because he's only having one nap a day at the moment and if I wake him now then that will be him until bedtime and that's just too long so I'm gonna let him sleep for a little bit and I'll make him his lunch when he wakes up um, but Oliver has asked for a pizza wrap so I'm going to show you what that is we are obsessed with wraps at the moment if you watched my trying TikTok recipes video um, which I'll leave linked below we made like a you kind of make an omelette in a pan and then you put the wrap on top and flip it over and then put a filling in it so we've been doing that loads but we've also been doing um, just wraps in the frying pan with cheese and sauce and one of the things that we did recently was made pizza sauce from a recipe book which we have called Takeaway Secrets. So the book is mostly about making like your own chicken curries and your own like things that you would get from the takeaway but it also has a really really good recipe for pizza sauce. And it's amazing, it genuinely tastes like something you would get out of a takeaway, mm -hmm. funnily enough. Um, so yeah, we just had a little supply of it in the fridge and it's almost finished. Um, there's enough for one more wrap, but it's so good to have in the fridge because you can make you can make these wraps, but you can also use it as like a pasta sauce, and you can use it just on like um, if you're making a cheese toasty or one of the little like toasty wrap toasty pocket things that you put in the, the toaster. Oh my god! But yeah, I'm going to show you how we make this little wrap. It's so easy to make, and they taste so good. Okay, so this I've literally just used it. That's why it's got cheese on it. Um, all you do, this is so simple, I don't even know why I'm showing you, but yeah, you just put a wrap in the middle and then this, this here is our pizza sauce. So I'm gonna leave, I've just turned the cooker off. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this to like seven. And then this is the pizza sauce. So I'm gonna leave the recipe in the description box for this and I'll leave a link to the book that it came out of. But 
Um, in here is olive oil, garlic, I think it's peeled plum tomatoes that we used in it, garlic, basil, I can't remember what else is in it, but it's so good. So I'm going to put a little bit in the middle. Do you know we might actually get some from Marcus out of this as well? And then just use a spoon. I'm not going to take it all to the edges because I'm going to fold this up. And then I'm just putting some grated cheese down the middle. Okay, and then I'm just going to fold it up at one side. I'm trying to do this with one hand. I'm still holding the camera. Okay, so I've folded it up now. And it just makes this really, really nice and crispy. Tortilla wraps have never been my favourite. But since doing them like this... I have honestly had one for lunch like every single day. They're so good. Okay, so I've just halved that wrap between Oliver and Marcus. So Marcus has got the smaller one and Oliver has this one. It looks a bit messy, but they're so good. Um, so he's got two little bits, some melon, and um, we actually have some yellow peppers, which normally I would put in the pizza, but um, I forgot that we had them. So I've put some at the side. Marcus actually really likes to eat these raw. Um, I don't know if Oliver will eat them to be honest, but we'll give it a go and we'll put it on his plate and maybe he'll copy his brother. I am also gonna give them a yogurt once they're finished, but I can't put a yogurt on their plate. I see a lot of people do that, but if I do that, then they just go for the yogurt straight away and don't eat anything else. So I need to put that, I need to give them that once they're finished. But for now, I am gonna give them their lunch. Marcus is gonna sit for a little bit longer until he wakes up. Um, but Oliver is starving, so I'm going to give him this right now. So it turns out you snooze, you lose, because Oliver's just had the other half of Marcus's wrap. But it's good because he went on a big walk with Daddy this morning, didn't you? Yeah, where did you go? Up to the golf course. They went on a walk up to the golf course. And did you eat some of your peppers? No, not having your peppers, but he's eating some melon. And he's eating lots of a wrap, so he's doing not bad. He's a hungry boy. We need to make something else for Marcus when he wakes up. Yeah? Oh, no, no custard after lunch. You could have a wee yogurt if you like, once you finish your wrap. Do you want a yogurt once you've finished? Okay, so he's changed his mind. He's having one of the little yo's raspberry yogurts. Yeah, these are really, really good. They're just fromage free organic yogurt with um, fruit in them. So they're not like full of sugar or anything. They're just really, really good. And they're so tasty as well. Like I would eat these all the time, but the grown up version. <laughs> Hi, handsome boy. <laughs> okay, so Mr. Sleepyhead is awake. Hello, Marcus. And he's having his lunch. So he's got some melon peppers and I've just made him some cream crackers with Philadelphia cheese on it and he this was on his plate and he made his own lunch and put this on Marcus's plate I don't know if he thought it was like just sitting to go in the bin or whatever but um I tried to take it off Marcus wanted it on there so I don't know if he's going to try it never normally give him tomatoes but <laughs> let's see how you get on you like that melon don't you he slept for a good two hours there maybe which is pretty good but yeah this is his little lunch and then he'll get a yogurt as well afterwards i'm sure he will finish all this marcus is such a good eater he tries everything he's also got two new teeth on the top now so um it's opened a lot of a lot of doors for him because he likes to try so many more things now do you like that yeah. <laughs> Hello everyone i look like i haven't got dressed today but i've just put this jumper back on um so it's actually five o'clock and I almost forgot that I was filming this video so <laughs> I'm gonna make um so I'm actually halfway through making their dinner although there is not a lot of preparation in tonight's dinner and we've had a busy day Andy's been doing the garden um and I've been trying to edit my video for tonight yeah we like to do some slow cooker meals and we also always like to do a big batch of bolognese tonight all we're making is some bolognese which is actually the boys favorite we use a recipe by Anthony Carlucci um, I think that's his name. I always get his name wrong, but he does the absolute best bolognese and I know I've said this in a video before, but I think the key ingredient to it is white wine. Like normally you would always think to put red wine in bolognese, but he puts white wine in it. It makes it so much better. Um, so yeah, we've got a frozen one in the microwave just now. We have pasta cooking. I'm just gonna throw the two together and you will be instantly cheered up. Just using these little plates today, they are the matching ones for the divider plates. Do you see the, do you see the pattern? Marcus gets hangry quickly. Here's your bolognese, master. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. 
pasta. Let's just do a piece of garlic. Then do What's more? Just do He's got the exact same as you. We we'll always make sure you have the same, which is why Oliver has one of these big cups. It's the same as me. Uh huh. Oliver, sit down, please. It's a heavy top top. Uh huh. Right, sit on your it's bottom. And then the piece of Uh huh. Watch your clothes. <laughs> you getting on there, Mackie Moo? Okay, so since these two both finished, both, <laughs> both finished their dinner, they are having some custard. Um, this is just like Tesco's own one, nothing special, but Oliver loves custard. And Mr. Hangry also loves custard. That good? You've not even cleaned up. <laughs> like it? More, more, more. Get this boy happiest when he's eating. Mmm. Mm. Toasted. Like it? One, one's toasted. Mm -hmm. The yellow one's toasted. What? Yellow one's custard. Yellow one's custard. That's right. Ah. <laughs> you ah. waiting for me? Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> So the kids are way up for their bath now and when they come back down they will both just have a drink of milk and go straight to bed because it's actually a really late one tonight, it's already quarter past six and they usually go to bed for about seven, half seven. So I'm just actually editing this video and putting it up tonight and I realised I've lost a little bit of footage from the afternoon where Marcus had a packet of palm bears. I think Oliver had a pack of palm bears as well, which haven't been included in this. Yeah, so I just thought I'd put that out there. They also had some crisps in the afternoon. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. This is one of these videos that gets asked for quite a lot. Um, I think it's just interesting to see what other people are eating. Obviously every day is different and I feel like sometimes when you put these videos up people comment saying they never had enough vegetables. I think if they've had bolognese in the last two videos that I've done like this. Like they don't have bolognese every night but that's just what we had tonight and when you start filming at the start of the day I don't personally know what we're going to have that full day. Like it just depends on how they're feeling and how our day goes. So um, yeah I'm not going to change it just because we film a video. So this is a very honest day for the kids if that makes sense um it's not i'm not just changing it up because i'm filming a video i'm showing you exactly what we have and if that means some people comment and say that it's not perfect then so be it because i wouldn't ever want to put something out there that makes makes it look like they have the absolute most perfect balanced diet every single day of their life because i don't think any child has that or if someone manages to do that then please tell me how because we don't manage to do that um but i do think they have quite a good diet um they both get enough. They also have vitamins in the morning. They do have a multivitamin in the morning, um, which I didn't show either. Not very good at this whole vlogging thing. Anyway, um, right, I'm going to go and get this video edited and put it up for tonight. I hope you've enjoyed watching and I will be back as normal in the next um, few days that I should be uploading. So Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays and I'm going to try and get back on track and have regular videos again after that wee break for the last week. So I hope you have enjoyed this one and I hope you'll enjoy the ones that are coming up. I'll see you soon.